Hey, -o, welcome back, everybody. This is Yonch Keen with another StarCraft II commentary. We're on game number four in this best of five series. On the map Overgrowth, bottom left corner of the map, currently in the lead in the series, up 2 1. It's our red protest player, Trap. On the top right side of the map, with everything at stake. The blue Terran player, it's Flash. Flash has to take this game to stay alive in the series. See if he can pull it off. Alrighty, both the players getting going here. I still remember the days when people would build supply depots. They would put them like right here in the mineral line to save like, I don't know, a millionth of a second. <laughs> uh, I think maybe pros, pros just, they never do that anymore. Uh, and maybe they're just like, ah, tired of that shit. Like I'm too old for that shit. <laughs> I'll just put the mineral, I'll put my uh, supply depots uh, in this, you know, this is a good location. I'm happy with it over here. Yeah, I thought, I always thought that was funny. Command Center first for Flash. Feeling greedy. Protoss player going all the way uh, around the left side. Sneaking out over here. Wanted to sneak into his opponent's base. Double gas already up. Cyber next quarter in good position down there. Nice wall off. Pylon already going up. Okay, Doke. So he's going to start another probe. Bully show a chrono boost on this. He's got a lot of Chrono Boost so far. Hasn't, hasn't used any just yet. We'll see. So Flash is going to see. Okay, no Chrono Boost used just yet. What's he going to make? Is he making another probe? He's not making another probe. Not making another probe. Not making anything out of the gateway. And he sees nothing out of the Cybernetics Core. And one pylon. You see all this stuff, you go, okay. You've got a proxy pylon. Where is this shit at? Flash isn't stupid. He's looking around the right side of the map, which is a good location to look for a Stargate. But... He's looking the wrong side of the map. Stargate is actually right here. Flash has everything he needs to know. He knows there is a Stargate coming. He's got a second barracks coming up. He's going to make a lot of Marines. Hopefully it will be enough, and he's already starting an engineering base. So Flash has read this properly, has started the scouting process, and we'll see if he can hold it off. Time will tell. He has done the most important thing in StarCraft, scouting out your opponent. <laughs> And the second best, <laughs> second most important thing in StarCraft is reacting well. Reacting well to that scout. He's going to have a bunker up, which isn't too useful against a Oracle. Because usually the Oracles are just like, you know, I'm just going to stay away from that stationary building that's away from the mineral line. I'm going to stay away from that. That's a smart decision. He's still looking for it. He's looking for it. He's, he knows it's around here somewhere. It's right here, Flash. I know you're going to find it eventually, bud. <laughs> the Oracle in the main. I like the position of that missile turret. It looked like a trap wasn't ready for it, and the Stalker runs right past that bunker and gets eaten alive. And he did not decide to chase. Another missile turret there in the main. Stalker's very low. He could easily take it out with two. No, he's going to fall back. Got to keep in mind there's an Oracle here, so that can do some damage to these Marines as well. So, uh, Flash is playing it safe here, just grouping up Marines. There's really no reason to, like, go in and attack right now with the lower number of Marines than you have to, because he's not really hurting you now, he's just doing a little bit of poking. He's killed one SCV, and, you know, if he if you kill, uh, if you lose one SCV for a Stalker, that's a pretty good trade. Oh, second Oracle has shown up, we got another, another, uh, our first board rate coming out. And two more gateways being built. He's waiting for another void rate, this is going to be a one base build. Obviously, by uh, no expansion just yet. And these, look at this, these two guys are just on tour around the map. <laughs> Doing the overgrowth tour. Okay, another Marine bites the dust. Stalker goes down. And the Oracles now are going to go in for a kill. Maybe they're just waiting, trying to pick off a uh, Marine coming out of the barracks. They rally to the left side, though. We'll see where they pop up. Taking a lot of damage there from that missile turret. Another bunker at the front. Even a third bunker going up. He is not going to follow this flash. 
He's making those uh, guys on those that those prep prepper TV shows where those people that prep for Doomsday. He's making those guys look like fools. They have nothing on Flash. Here, look at this third bunker almost done. He's got two void rays. What are they gonna kill? They're gonna kill a Mar uh, SCV and cancel that bunker. More going up. Behind that, gonna grab maybe one more SCV kill. Falling back. This uh, this uh, one pace uh, attack here from Trap is slowly losing its effectiveness. He's gonna need a lot of units to try and break this front line here. More, another bunker going up. Flash just knows. Finally, this SCV's gonna die. Did he ever find that base? Is what I wanna know. Did he ever find it? He never found it! I love that. I love that. Oh no, this is bad for Trap. He warps into. He warps into uh, Zealous, but instantly get killed. Look at this Trap trying to get on top of the barracks. He's gonna try and stop the production. He's got a lot of Marines, though. That's a lot of Marines. No stim, though. He's gonna get a barracks kill. He's gonna try and kill a lot of Marines. They're running up the ramp. There's way too many Marines. Trap does not have enough Void Rays to deal with that. And at this point, he didn't even manage to get the barracks. At this point, Trap has got to be feeling pretty bad. He lost his Zealots. He lost his Stalker. And... Yeah. It's rough here for... It's rough here for Trap. At this point, all Flash has to do is kind of chill out, play defensive. Or he's going to go for it. He's going for it. He's tired of playing defensive. He's going to push out. Uh, Oracle's getting a lot of free kills here in the main, though. But with this many Marines, yeah, I don't think he can push across the map with that many Marines. Sure, he's a lot, but with Stalkers, you can kind of pick those off. He doesn't have Stim. He can't chase them down. He did manage to kill the pylon, so it's going to slow reinforcements. Another missile turret going up. Flash has got to play this out safe. And I think he's going to put himself in a nice... He's got a nice lead already with this second base, but... He just needs to play it safe. He's got an engineering base, so he can start an upgrade if he wants to. He's got two more barracks being built. He can get pretty much go pure bio at this point. He doesn't really need medevacs just yet. He really just needs a huge army to, to hold back this mixture of warp gates and stargates. Good force field. He's going to pick off five or six marines. SCVs being pulled to the front line. A couple of those guys will fall, but nonetheless, the bunker does remain. Third bunker up. It's quickly filled up, starting a fourth bunker. Stim, look at this. Oh, Stim. As soon as he gets Stim done, that's going to be amazing here. But what is he going to try to accomplish here? What is Trap going to try and get in the main? He can maybe poke. He might be able to kill that tech lab if he sees it. Nah, he doesn't see it just yet, but he can easily get back there and deal some damage. He does have to worry about getting cut off, like right about now. Flash going in for it. He's going to kill one Void Ray. Yes, he does get one. Nice job there. Every single tech kill that Flash gets is just one more nail in the coffin for Trap. He's trying to go in and do some damage with these units, but it's not cost effective enough. Pick off another SAV or two. Looks like it's going to be two. 13 workers killed for trap. That doesn't make up for this whole extra base he's got mining. And the extra mules. Flash scans and sees, uh-oh, no nexus just yet. That kind of makes him feel pretty good. Here we go. Force fields are going to go down. He's not going to be able to get anything to repair. Those bunkers will fall, but they're doing a lot of damage there. Guardian shield is up. That's a lot of sentries. Great force fields. And I like this from uh, from trap. He's uh, not overextending here. Go some more force fields. Going to grab a couple extra free marines. Trap doing pretty good here, but will it be enough? Army supply. 36 versus 32. Pretty close, but keep in mind we do have some SCVs in the mix and bunkers helping increase that. Look at these oracles in the main still picking off a couple extra units. Nice job there from Trap. He's got another two more kills since the last time we checked that out. Gonna try and sneak in the back. Stim is so close to being done. It's really close to being done. He's gonna have it for this fight. Seven more seconds. The oracles in the back. Not going in for anything just yet. Looks like Stim will finish for this next fight. A lot of Marines. And plus one is just now finishing. Plus one's going to be nice. Plus one and Stim. That's going to be rough to deal with combat shields. Just now being researched. Flash scans his army. His opponent's army sees what he's got. More sentries being warped in. He's going to need some more force fields if he wants to take down these bunkers. But every time Trap drops those bunkers, Flash quickly rebuilds them. Stim is done. There we go. Popping the Stim. Where's the opponents fall back? He does get one bunker, a couple more units fall. Picking off a couple straggling marines here and there. Oracle's just chilling out in the back, building up some energy. Now they're going to go back in. And are they going to get anything? Not going to get anything, but we do see we're going to have medevacs coming out pretty soon. And that's going to be even worse news for Trap. I'll look at this, picking off some more. The guy's just trying to grab some gas. 
Finally, it looks like Trap is going to take a natural. He's got to save up some money for it, though. He's been running a one Stargate and four Warp Gates off a single base with only 14 workers. You know, 15 including this guy, but he's been uh, cutting it thin here. Trap with a pretty big force. Army count, 48 versus 48. Very even. Exactly even to say the least. Oracle's going back in for it once again, trying to snag any little bit of an advantage he can get with these Oracles. So check out the kills on these guys. Master rank Oracle. 16 kills. Instructor Oracle. Got 11. Trap going for it. Going out to force fields. Will he take out one of those bunkers? One bunker does fall. That Void Ray is nothing but shields. He's going to fall back. Flash still keeping the supply lead. Trap deciding, you know what? I'm not going to go for that Nexus just yet at the natural. I'm going to... I'm just going to uh, build some more units because units units are good. Medivac won't for a drop in the back. Oh, there's going to be nothing in the main to defend against this. Flash just buys enough time to stay alive. This drop is just going to destroy. Look at this here. Look at that. There's nothing here to save him. Sure, he can warp in units, but that's just going to make his attack at the main just that much weaker. Medivac's refueling every, or healing everybody up at the natural. Flash has got those combat shields, which are nice. And these Oracle's just doing some more damage. How many more kills these guys up to? 16 and... Some other number I'm not going to check just yet. Good force field. Garden ship goes up. Another void ray falls. He's out of void rays at this point. Stalker's going down. He's going to get the bunker. Yeah, nope. Traps just drops the GG. He saw. He he saw these uh <laughs> these Marines doing some damage in the main. How many kills did he end up getting there? Eight more kills in Traps main from that drop, and that was it. Flash played that great. You know, he, he did not even see that star port there, but he knew exactly what it was um, from scouting his opponent's base. Played against it perfectly. Did everything he needed to do. Played a nice defensive. Sure, he lost a lot of units of those oracles, but in the end of the day, it didn't matter. He had all the extra income from the natural, and that made up for it. He got the great upgrades, won all the fights, kept rebuilding those bunkers, and kept rebuilding those bunkers. That was uh, the key to his defensive there. Uh, along with a couple extra missile turrets being thrown in around the base for some defenses. So that was game number four. That ties up the series 2-2. We've got a nail-biter here, folks. We're going to have game number five coming up next on my YouTube channel. Check me out on YouTube, youtube.com slash Yanchikino. Follow me on Twitter at Yanchikino and check me out on Twitch. I've been streaming some Heroes of the Storm lately. So if you want to see me uh, blow some people up on Heroes of the Storm, come check that out. That's it. For me, guys, hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you next time.